Oh, no, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna make adjustment here. Cause the What is those? Four or five? So we got the back of our stakes up. Well, our stakes for the back of the wall. And we'll use this little horseshoe or reference point to pull our line. So this is pretty much the back of the wall. Goes down there, nice and plumb. Of course, you got the footing. I think that's about four feet wide, 18 inches thick. All these stakes are approximately four to five feet on center. This wall is gonna go from, I believe, three and a half to about five feet. From this end to this end. We are kinda working with the grade that we have. So all these stakes are about five feet. And that's just gonna allow us to uh, play with the grade. Instead of making them three feet, then we decide, hey, we need some more. We just made them all five feet. That first board is gonna go pretty much on top of here, on top of the line. And then from there, we just build them up like Lego blocks. So this is something before we start framing, we get a lot of questions of like, how do we do uh, build the retaining wall? So this is it. Here's our kickers. We got one, two, three. So basically behind here is about 12 inches. It's kind of tight, but we're gonna put some uh, drain rock in the drain pipe behind there. So these are kickers, the main stakes. And this is just a reference point for us to pull our line so it can be nice and plumb. And what we're doing over there is getting that wall straightened out. It's gonna square. Well, we're squaring it off so everything can be nice and square. Yeah, so that's the back of the wall. Again, the stakes are four to five feet on center. I think we got these four feet because it's about five feet high. Footing's 18 inches thick, four feet wide. And on the back of each stake is a kicker. So we make these out of two by fours. And then the kicker is we just have scrap wood and we make them out of there. That's it, let's get to it. All right, so now we're just gonna start stacking these up like Legos. Once we get this first one down, it's pretty much straightforward going from there. Each one we put up, we do bring the level in and check it to make sure everything is on point. Sometimes when these boards sit around, they kind of warp a little bit, but we got a little, little trick that we do to kind of straighten it back out. It's not really much to it. I'm gonna let this video ride out. If you guys have any questions, you know you can hit me up down below. Be sure to hit that like button down there as well. I will be putting up some captions just to kind of tell you what we're doing at certain parts here, but I did slow down the time lapse. I know a lot of guys are asking me how we go about building and retaining one. Now, this is how we do it. Haven't had any issues with the customers, with the cities, with the inspectors. So this is bulletproof for us. And with all that being said, I hope everyone is doing well. Stand positive.
right, just like the back, we frame the front pretty much the same process. All the stakes in front are, are approximately four to five feet on center. And then we just actually we got some new two by twelves. These are the first ones I bought pretty much this summer. I did buy a few earlier this year, but I had to buy 20 of them to complete this project here. Now, this is going to be a smooth finish, but we're going to do this one kind of different than what we normally do on a smooth finish. So you guys be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see that video. That's probably going to come up in about a week or two. We look to pour this one uh, on Friday. So we're going to strip it. It's going to look like a board finish, but we're going to apply this product on it. And I'll show you guys that on the next video. All right, so this is a modern landscape uh, project here. It's probably one of our first ones we've done in about two or three years. Well, complete from start to finish here. So this is the second video. You can check out part one down below. Probably gonna have three, maybe four more videos uh, for this project. So guys, be sure, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when those come out. Now, you know, if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, you can hit us up in the Sacramento area. You can hit us up. All our information is below. Definitely appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Again, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave below. Be sure to hit that like button. Hang around people that are positive. It's cool to ask for help. Catch you on the next one.